Well, I grew up uh, with my parents' music, which is kind of like Bob Marley, Eric Clapton, and this kind of stuff. And when I came to the U.S., I think probably actually when I was like um, 10, I started watching, you know, like hip hop, this kind of thing, and got into the whole Spice Girls stuff and all that. And I always loved music, but it's never something, you know, I thought that I was going to. And when I was about 15 living in Paris, I met a DJ, and eventually he convinced me to try doing a song, and here we are today. If I've been like out all night or something, I'll tend to dress actually way better than I do normally because I think it makes you feel more pulled together. Um, sometimes, you know, if I don't, if I'm sick or something, I'll just walk around in sweatpants or dress up. But I mean, it's really different every day. If you, you know, look like in a really amazing, sexy outfit, then I think that affects the way you, you know, you show yourself through your movements, the way that you dance. If you're not feeling comfortable, then you're not going to, you know, jump around as much. So it really, like, if you're feeling confident what you're wearing, then it translates through, I guess, your whole expression on the stage. Uh, I live in Paris. I'm half American, half English. And I grew up in Hong Kong, and now I live in Paris. My dad's, like, my best friend. I always go back to my parents. And it's a very mellowing, I guess. My dad worked in fashion. He's a director at the Cooper. Yeah, he's from oh. Liverpool, so. so... super cool. He draws, like, amazing, paints amazing, plays guitar amazing, so... I had two babies at the same time, the album, and then her... Henrietta. I call her Henry. She turned 10 months two days ago. What inspires me to write is really, like, life. What happens, you know, if I have a crazy night, boys a lot are good for inspiration. Good news is them. Confusion as well. I think sometimes I kind of try to analyze things in songs. My whole label, um, especially uh, the French producers that I'm working with, Mr. Wezzo, DJ Feeds, um, Pharrell definitely, and just life in general, I guess. I mean, I live out of a suitcase for like three weeks at a time, so at the end of the week, or at the end of the tour, it's a bit difficult. Everything always goes haywire. It seems so organized and calm, but everything's really mess. I had like packed all this silk stuff and I was like, okay, can't wear this, it's completely destroyed now. It starts completely neat, everything packed nicely, and by the second day you're like waking up at 6 in the morning, throwing everything in a bag, leaving stuff all over the country. <laughs> this is an American Apparel shirt. I quite like their t-shirts. And these are diesel jeans. Well, they used to be jeans that I cut into shorts at a festival last week. This is um, Brian Lichtenberg, is kind of a young designer coming from LA. He made me a couple of these suits in different patterns for the stage. And I love them because they have the shoulders. And he makes dresses as well that are one sided like this. And the hoodie with the pink hair, it's a bit hard to fit in there. I've never had pink hair, so I told him to glue it so I could keep it in. Yeah, but I've never done in the crazy colors. This is definitely something new. <laughs> these I love because they have. I love this part. I'm a big heel addict. I'm a taxi girl, so. Um, these, I have no idea. I was at a festival a few days ago in Hamburg and my jeans got completely ripped, so I borrowed these from someone. So I quite like fun, cozy leggings. They're easy to travel in and just bum around in. And this is an acne t shirt. And I really like acne, so. Their t shirts are really good, nice cuts and this kind of thing. But I DJed. Um, at the Gucci party a few months ago, and I got to keep the dress. It has like feathers. Wow. Sequins. It's amazing. It's like a piece of art. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I got invited to play in Japan with Pharrell, I think when I was 19, and recently we did a song together, so that was really exciting. He's definitely one of my favorite artists, one that I really respect the most. So. It's a bit of a dream come true. Once you get on stage, it's kind of sink or swim. You get a bit of a, I guess, an adrenaline rush. You just have to go for it. I think the most exhilarating moment was definitely on tour when on New Year's I had to do a Perth, Melbourne, and Sydney in 24 hours on New Year's. That was pretty rough. The key for big songs is it has to go up on the course. That's it. But I mean, you never know. People are always changing what they want, you know, what's in the moment, so it's a bit of a gamble, I guess. I mean, it's really exciting exactly like getting to see people's reaction, you know, to what you're doing live. And if you want, you know, you can change the song around, do something different, try out new material on stage. Sometimes you just have to kind of make stuff up and just go along, it's completely sporadic. You know, sometimes you'll find like a melody in your head and you only have that and then you'll find the words after. Or sometimes, you know, you'll hear an instrumental that just completely inspires the words and it just comes naturally. But uh, for me, like, what I've learned now, because the last one just took so long, the <laughs> album, because I was trying to tour and then go in the studio. So now I'm just constantly writing and eventually, you know, I'll, 
I guess, collect beats from different producers and see what fits with what. Maybe you'll change the melody like for the song, it's depending. I used to like read everything on the internet and all of that, and you just have to stop because, you know, not everyone's going to like you, you can't really change that. And, you know, you do music for your pleasure or for the people, you know, that enjoy listening to it. So, it's just best, you know, to stick to that and think about the next thing that you're doing instead of like the past, what people are saying, what you've done. It's really hard when you're young, like 17, 18. So, I mean, you have to learn that very quick. I think in this industry, it's very sink or swim if you don't get that. You know, Googling yourself. <laughs> you find out, I guess, who your friends are, definitely. I mean, it's very hard to, you know, stay in contact with people when you're always gone. So I think, you know, you, like me, I, I just became, like, a lot closer with a few friends, and the rest you don't get to see very much. You get little breaks here and there. If you get pregnant, then you get nine months. It's nice. Um, but I mean, it just kind of keeps going. But it's when I like when I was having the baby and I took time out. I really missed it. So as much as I complain that it's right. so exhausting, like I can imagine not doing it. Right. It's really good for creativity to kind of take yourself outside of your box and to be a bit vulnerable, that kind of thing. So I wanted to do kind of basic things that you could wear every day, but that you know you can mix and max, uh, mix and match to make more, I guess chic or whatever you need. Fashion it kind of goes in a way hand in hand with music. I think it's both ways of expressing how you're feeling in a moment or in that day and it's just ways of expressing yourself. So me I it completely changes daily. Sometimes I look like I'm homeless. Sometimes I wear really pretty clothes. It's really different every day.